it's Desiree, day two, here we go. For today's project, I'm going to be featuring Penny Black, and I'm going to be using the die set called Adorn, which is this beautiful ornament. And for the sentiment, just the J and the wine, I'm going to be using the die set called Mirthful. I'm going to show you a real easy way to get the look or the effect of die cut inlay. Let's get our um, sentiment set first. So I die cut the letters for joy, one layer out of gold mirror cardstock, and then two more out of an ivory cardstock. I wanted this to have some dimension. Now I won't be using the O. The ornament from Adorn is actually going to be the O. So this also has, you know, maybe a vintage feel, um, probably because I use the vintage photo. Um, but what's great with that sentiment of joy, you can use other images, such as an ornament or a snowflake or a snowman, you know, something that has that round type of image um, during the holidays could also use it outside of the holidays, use a sun with the rays coming out as well. So to achieve the look of a die cut inlay, you know, maybe you don't like those small pieces um, to inlay in there, just take some scrap cardstock and put that to the back of the openings. It will give you the look that you've die cut that you've done that technique in a quicker way. And that's exactly what I did here. So I took care of the center first. I wanted that to be ivory. And then I wanted the rest of the petals of this ornament to be a light blue. Once I get that set in place, I can use my scissors <clears throat> if I didn't trim correctly. Um, but right there, boom, it's right there. And again, it just gives you that a look, that look. I also used the die for the topper of the ornament and used gold cardstock as well. I'm now going to prop up the ornament and I wanna make sure that's going to be centered into my card base. I am using a standard A2 size card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And this will be a side folding. Once that is placed in the center and the piece of cardstock that I'm using as my design base is actually one of my mixed medias, the cardstock that I use for my colored pencils usually, and this is the toned tan. I'm going to come around this edge using my vintage photo and I am going to go around quite heavily. I want to make sure that I have a good amount of that color coming around the outside. This panel has been cut to four by five and a quarter, and it will rest on a piece of dark green cardstock that has been cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. I chose to put the J in the bottom left hand corner, and the Y is going to sit in the upper right hand corner, and they are going to look like they're coming out from underneath the ornament. Now, when I placed the topper, you have that loop <clears throat> that's still open just a little bit. And I'm going to, after I get this set onto my card base, I'm gonna grab some twine and I'm going to thread that through that opening and make it look like it's an ornament for your tree. Now this will not come off my card because I did use double-sided foam squares to place that on my card, but it's just a little piece of you know, interaction there. Now you could probably make this so that they can, the recipient can remove the ornament, you know, by using a piece of vellum to hold it in place um, or something else. I'm going to add some satin gold pearls to the card and I'm going to use the smaller ones. I'm using all the different sizes. That's what I love about these uh, gem or pearl packs. You have different sizes. So for the smaller areas, of course, I'm using the smallest. 
of the pearls and then on the outer parts I'm going into the larger pearls and this will just help accent uh, the ornament alone here I'm fighting with the pearls because that's what we do with them and I'm using my wax pencil to lift them up and set them into place so here is our card um, quick a simple way to do a die cut inlay technique and get great results hope you enjoyed day two of the Christmas series for 2022 all the products that I used will be listed down below in the video description and if you have any questions make sure you leave those down below as well and I'll get back to you as soon as I can I will see you in the next video for day three, but continue creating your cards. I hope I'm giving you some ideas, some tips and tricks for next year's cards, because I know I start my series after Thanksgiving. It's just what I do, um, but I hope I'm giving you some ideas and some inspiration for next year, um, or maybe you're doing those in the last minute. Continue to create your art and have fun with it. But most of all, remember, always be creative, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Till then.